It's time for Motivation Monday. And you know, I'm sure you've heard it said, it's very important to every now and then stop and smell the roses. You know, take that time to just savor a moment. Definitely need that in today's day and age where we're so busy with our lives. And joining us uh, this morning, talk a little bit more about that is leadership author and public speaker Pete Blank. Good to see you this hey, morning. Mike, good morning, my friend. You know, we were just talking about this during the break. I, I've known a lot of people who recently are having some serious health issues. And, um, you know, it, it really just brings it home that you only get certain moments that you need to enjoy uh, in this life. Well, we don't think about the word savor a lot as like a motivational word, but a lot of times when we think about savoring something, it's about food. You know, it's yeah. about, oh, I savored that meal. But there's other things we can savor besides just the food as well that can help us be motivated. Just for example? About well, for example, it's just those small moments, like you said. You know, I mean, the actual definition, if you look at what, uh, what savor is, it's to delight in. So we're moving so fast. We're moving so fast taking care of our, our elderly parents or our kids or our grandkids or whatever. Do we stop and delight in the small moments? I think you said banana pudding earlier. Yeah. So do, do, do you stop and delight in those small moments? I was at a baseball game this past weekend, mm -hmm. and we were sitting watching the baseball game, and this little four-year-old girl was out there dancing around. And I was just watching that go, and she's having such a good time, and I sort of froze for a moment and said, how cool is that that she's totally enjoying the moment? And I enjoyed the moment because she was enjoying the moment. So we have to savor, mm -hmm. savor those small moments. So to dive a little bit more into that, so how do we use that as motivation? Well, the, the first thing we want to do is we got to take time to stop. Take time and stop and enjoy this. Like, for one thing, the weather outside is fantastic today. Yeah. And thank you, Mickey, for that. So, I mean, take a mental picture of what you see that's out there. And, and, and mention things to somebody else. Like, it, if you're a grandparent or a parent or something like that, and you're out and you see the beautiful dogwoods and you see the cherry trees right now, make sure you stop and share that with your, your, your spouse, your significant other, and say, hey, do you see that? Do you look at that? Because a lot of times we just are driving and we're going. And so if we don't stop and say, this is a moment I'm going to thank be thankful for, uh, it's going to pass us by. So share that moment with others, I think. All right, what do you important. mean by stop the physical movement? We are, again, not driving. <laughs> so I'm not saying pull, pull your car to the side. Right. But if you're walking through a park, it, if you're walking through a grocery store, if you see a fun interaction, you need to stop for a moment and not stare and be creepy, but just say, this is a moment that whether God or spirituality has given me at this moment to take it in, the smells, the sights, I, you can use it to reset, reset. Maybe you had a bad weekend, a bad interaction, you can stop and just, just focus for a moment mm -hmm. and reset. So take that 5, 10, 15 seconds. And everybody stop. has their own thing. You know, everybody's got right. their own thing they're dealing with. But right. uh, it's certainly important to count our blessings and give thanks because we always know some Somebody's always got it worse. And someone's got it worse than we do. So again, I'm going to savor this moment all day today. I got to talk to Mike Dubberly in on studio, television. In studio, in studio, instead of Zoom. Savor that. It's going to make yes. the rest of my day. Awesome. Thank you, brother. You're welcome, brother. Yeah. You know what we're going to savor? <laughs> we're going to savor some cooking next. Ah, well done. Well done.